Hello, my name is Bob Binder. I'm a solution architect with x ray Incorporated. In today's webinar, we're going to take a look at the ColorCert infrastructure. ColorCert has many different components, which sometimes causes confusion. So we're going to take a look at the entire infrastructure, starting with the repo server, moving through the various components of ColorCert, and ending with the repository server. So let's dive right in. As we step through this today, I am going to segregate the system components into two distinct categories. The gray horizontal line shown here will be our line of demarcation. Items shown above this line will be those components that are owned and maintained by a brand in cases where a brand is using color cert to monitor production of products they are purchasing. A company headquarters when color cert is deployed across many plants to control production across multiple print locations, or in the front office of a single plant installation. Those components that are deployed on the production floor will be shown below this gray line. We begin with the color cert manager. This is one of the color cert desktop versions. The manager version of color cert contains all of the color cert modules and is used primarily for creating and maintaining digital assets such as color standards, tolerances, and templates, and it's also used for creating new color cert jobs. These digital assets may then be uploaded to a color cert repository server, or as it's commonly called, a repo server. The repo server is a cloud-based server used for storage and distribution of your digital assets. There are a number of advantages to using a repo server. For example, we are able to connect ColorCert to a repo server, so accessing files from the server is no different than accessing a local file. We can access the repo server from anywhere in the world, and anyone the owner grants access to is able to gather this data. It is also very easy to control who has access to what data. The data is replicated on servers around the globe for fast access and redundancy in case of a server failure. Data is automatically rerouted from another server. In addition to our own color standards that we may be hosting on the repo server, it is also possible to use Pantone Live standards. This gives us the opportunity to further refine and standardize our workflow by taking advantage of Pantone Live master libraries, Pantone Live dependent libraries, and Pantone Live private libraries. We then move to the production floor, beginning in the Ink Lab, where we make use of ColorCert Inkroom tools to monitor the color of our ink batches. Just so there is no confusion, ColorCert Inkroom tools is not an ink formulation software. For formulation, you would want to use our IFS product. For those converters mixing batches of ink, or for those receiving press-ready ink, ColorCert Inkroom Tools is the perfect application for quality control. Because we are opening the standard from the repo server, we can rest assured that we are monitoring our ink using the very same standards that will be used on press, thus mitigating an important point of possible confusion. When it's time to go to press, we use ColorCert press room tools to open the ColorCert jobs that correspond to our production. This ColorCert job contains all of the standards, tolerances, metadata, such as item information, and may even contain an image of the item being produced, providing the press operator with everything they need to successfully monitor the quality of their production in a single package saves the time it takes to search a database looking for the colors being run on an order. It also eliminates the possibility that the press operator could accidentally select the wrong color standard or the wrong tolerance. When the production order is finished, we upload the run data to the scorecard server. This server allows us to view and analyze production data over time. We can compare production from one press to another, one production facility to another. We can even view trends by individual color, 
item, brand, etc. As I am sure you can imagine, having access to this data provides us with the information necessary to truly embrace continuous improvement in our manufacturing locations. As with the repo server, it is possible to control who has access to specific data. The server owner, typically a brand or converter management team, will have access to all of the data. This allows them to focus on opportunities to improve their overall quality by looking at the big picture. We then provide limited access to individual plant locations. This allows them to view their own operation and understand in greater detail what metrics they should focus on to improve their output. Okay, so hopefully you found this to be very helpful today. Again, what we did is we covered color cert from the beginning stages of a project using the repository, incorporating Pantone Live, measuring production in a press room, and uploading data to the scorecard server where this can be analyzed for continuous improvement. Thank you.